Right, we've done a bit more work on that now. You can see it's pretty well there. We've uh, done the ears and the uh, the head. Uh, what we're going to do now is put a bit of texture on it. Uh, we've parted the front uh, legs. I don't know if you'll be able to see uh, through there. There's a wee bit of light. Same on the uh, the back legs, but we've not gone right the way through. Uh, the ears are pretty on pretty thick, but that's really a practical thing just to try and protect them. It's going to be the weakest point on the whole thing, so if we can leave them fairly chunky, I know it's not realistic, but uh, it might help them survive a few knocks. Um, we've rounded the uh, the base off a wee bit, and uh, so apart from texturing, one of the things we need to do now is really rough this um, this base at the bottom and uh, give the uh, the epoxy um, a good um, uh, um, roughed up area to, to grip on and um, after that perhaps a little touch with the sander just clean things up uh, with a wire brush perhaps and uh, then it wants painting so there we have it we've uh, put some texture in onto the dog that hopefully will show up um, through the paint um, it may not be perfectly realistic but as long as it looks almost like a dog I'll be quite happy um, for the texturing I use the dental drill and a little uh, homemade device which was just basically just a washer with uh, little notches in it and that whizzes around and uh, does a very good job of texturing um, you could do all this with a Dremel or you can buy one of these um, dental sets off uh, eBay they're probably £80-£90 Dremels are probably a bit cheaper but uh, this really does go, the dental drill goes around very very quickly and um, you can reverse the direction or you should be able to reverse the direction and you can get lots of bits to fit again off places like eBay and uh, dental suppliers um, so we need to um, just uh, scour this bottom and um, what have we got we'll have to change bits As you can hear, I've got quite a few bits in here. This one's got fairly deep. Gives a good key. Rough it up. Make sure you get the dust out of it, or else the glue won't take too well. Oops, it is it. And there you go, so that's going to give us a key for, uh, for gluing up. So uh, that's it for now folks. I think it's part 10 next, and uh, we'll do a wee bit of painting. And um, I'll we'll probably take you through that, it's, it's fairly easy, straightforward. Um, and then uh, we're on to using that to give ourselves the uh, the notch on the stick. Still a lot of work to be done on that, so uh, plenty to go at. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you again.